stop Ajiroma one minute. We are one minute to launch. We are orbiting the fourth batch of satellites in the O3B constellation, which Thalassolania Space built for SES networks. And we're flying on board the 18th Soyuz to launch from the Guiana Space Center. Our best wishes now to all the teams as we watch the launch. Largage du Mac AZM. À tous de DDO, attention pour la séquence finale lanceur. Top H0-20 secondes. Largage du mât VKM. Allumage du triétage. Attention. Top 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top décollage. Les moteurs des premiers et deuxième étage fonctionnent normalement. Bonne stabilisation du lanceur. Beautiful pictures there in the clear blue sky above the Guiana Space Center, over the Amazon rainforest. Soyuz blazing a trail. Range operations manager is telling us that every, everything is going according to plan, everything's nominal. The propulsion of the first stage is nominal. Our altitude, bottom left, 36 kilometers above Earth. Our speed coming up to two kilometers per second. And you can see the boosters being jettisoned. See how they twist and turn. All part of the plan. Uh, we have confirmation there of separation, and we saw them. We don't need them anymore. The boosters can fall away. We're shedding weight. We're burning the core stage now. The block A burns for nearly five minutes. Picking up in speed there on the right hand side and climbing into space right now we are 78 kilometers high and getting closer to what we call the Kármán line that's the border with space it's named after the hungarian american aerospace engineer theodore von Kármán who died in 1963 and it's where the air becomes so thin that we can no longer support vehicle, vehicles with wings and we have to use rocket science to stay up. Look at the front of the vehicle there, that's the fairing, the nose, and in there are the satellites. It's protecting them from the rigors of the launch. Notably the acoustic vibrations, you can just imagine how loud it is. Everything's going according to plan. And also friction, because as we fly through the dense part of the atmosphere, it causes the outside of the fairing to heat up. But as we get closer to the Kármán line, the air becomes so thin that we hardly have any friction and we don't need the fairing anymore. So this is the scheduled moment where we 
lose it, it gets jettisoned, and we can see our satellites for the first time. Attached there on the front, and he's confirmed that the fairing has been jettisoned. Attached there at the front, the left-hand side, some great images there from cameras on board a previous launch. Le fonctionnement du moteur du bloc A est nominal. He's telling us that the functioning of the Block A motor is going normally. So the 403B spacecraft, lovingly built by the men and women at Talisalania Space, who are experts at this kind of thing. And if you look in the middle of the rocket, you can see a sort of latticework structure by the orange section. That is because Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique when it separates the stages, the second and third stage, the third stage engine switches on before du bloc I, du bloc A. the second stage bloc bloc switches off. And he's confirmed there that separation. Du bloc I. So you can see our tracking stations here. Galio, that's at the Guiana Space Center. And then Natal, that's on the northeastern coast of Brazil. Then we have Ascension in the middle of the Atlantic. And we're heading across, du bloc I. across the Atlantic. It takes a little bit of time for information to get from the launcher to us here at the CSG. Those stations send the information back here, but it has to go via Moscow first in order to be validated. So we're seeing all the key moments when they are scheduled to happen, but we get the actual confirmation from the range operations manager just a little later. That's perfectly normal. Good view there of the four satellites attached to the dispenser or the special adapter, which is that cone in the middle. A cone is the wrong word, a, a tube. And all four of them attached in an array like petals from this angle. It takes Soyuz just under two and a half hours to deliver the satellites from liftoff. This mission will comprise several steps, the first of which being the three-stage Soyuz flight. The action of the boosters, the second stage, and finally the third stage, shall position the fregat to an altitude of 200 kilometers after nine minutes. Then, following three fregat boosts, the spacecraft will be put into the separation orbit. The first pair will be separated after two hours, and the second pair 20 minutes later. In parallel, Fregat will perform two other boosts in order to join its disposal orbit, where it will end its life. This mission will be visible from our ground tracking stations. Galio in French Guiana, Natal in Brazil, Ascension in the middle of the Atlantic, Libreville in Gabon, Malindi in Kenya, and South Point in Hawaii. So those are the tracking stations picking us up as we fly over and we are scheduled to pick up the signal during that film there in Natal. That's the one in Brazil. You can see it there on the right-hand side. The tracking stations are often known as downrange stations or ground stations. The information that they pick up from the launcher tells us how the flight is progressing in real time and it allows the experts to work out if things are going according to plan. And it also enables them to make an assessment after the flight and check how things went. It's called telemetry. It comes from the Greek. Tele, of course, means remote and metron means measure. Everything's going normally. These computer-generated images are a simulation of what the experts have calculated is happening to the launcher and the satellites. The teams plan a very precise schedule of events, which is based on extremely accurate predictions for the flight, and they put all that information into the computer. These images are then a simulation 
of those predictions. So every movement and every position that you see is a simulation of exactly what's been planned for the flight. He's telling us that everything's going according to plan. You can see there, this is the scheduled moment for the third stage to shut down its engine.